Good morning everyone. Hope you're all well and that you had a nice weekend. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to try and move this over a little bit. I just feel... There we go. Sorry. Um, I might have to pull you back a bit actually. <laughs> it's just such a big journal. So um, I've been working again in this over the weekend and um, I thought uh, it's getting really chunky now and I think um i keep adding pages and things so i'm gonna have to be careful it's um i, I loved working in it i mean it's a really nice thing to do and um i called it my field notes but actually i would probably say it's more of a nature journal than a field notes um <clears throat> But because I, I probably wouldn't be able to take this out in the field now, it's just too big. But I have made a little book that I could, you know, in here that I could take out instead. Anyway, I wanted to do a little bit more work in it today and I thought you might want to join me um, before I make a start on other projects. So my table is in a mess. Um, I've been busy doing bits and bobs over the weekend painting and what have you and all sorts of things so that's and then I did my um little snippets video so um yeah so I will um what I want to do so I've just added various things in I'll take you through a flip through later on but what I want to do is this page here I have a number of little items that I want to add to the journal. I mean, I've got so much dried plant material and feathers and things like that. And I thought I'd just maybe start adding some, um, some more. And, um, you know, I might add things like this. Uh, this isn't... As you can see, this isn't um, pressed. It's not a pressed flower. Yeah, I think I quite like it like that, actually. I think I'm going to put that there. I'll just move. No, I don't need to move them. So I'm going to pop that there, I think. Try and hold them down. I'll just grab some, some tape. I think I'll probably use masking tape to put this one down. Um, I don't like to have huge bits. Let me just check you can see what I'm doing. Yes, you can. Okay, I'm just going to pop this down. And then I'll put that there. And I can add a couple up here. I might want to just try and bring it together like this. I mean, it will flatten out. It probably flatten out, but it probably also lose some of the the little flower flower um, seed heads. But I don't mind. It's okay. I don't know if there's a way that I can help that. Oops, Oop, didn't mean to do that, but let's just see if I can get them down a little bit more on there. I'm not sure what this plant is. I'm trying to think where I got it from. I know I got it when I was doing some printing um, from the my local woods and um, I can't remember what plant it came from and maybe I never identified it in the first place you know I was just interested in it and pr I'm pretty sure it will be in a in a, um, some sort of um, book somewhere you know where I'll be able to identify it because I like I'm like I'm trying to identify everything that I put in here but 
where I can't I'm just putting on yarn yeah I think that's okay you know like that I think they'll a couple of them will probably come off but just do a little bit more there here yeah probably get a little bit of plant material in here but never mind so um yeah, so I want that there, and then I have, I've been going through my old box of things, and I, you know, I'm finding all sorts of things. I mean, I, over the few year, last few years, you know, I've found, I um, dried little bits, but I didn't pre necessarily press them. It was just me sort of finding things or, you know, and then just putting them in a in a jar somewhere and then forgetting about them. Just see if I can get that to stay down as well. It's so pretty. I mean, I suspect if I try and squash it a little bit, it might help. Actually, I'm going to take that up again and I'm going to glue it. That way I won't lose all the petals because they're so pretty. This is cornflower. It's a very small one. Oops. So I hope you, as I say, I hope you had a good weekend and um, have been managing to find time for crafting. It's always a good thing. <laughs> Um, it's a rain, very rainy autumnal day outside today. Um, it makes me want to go and bake apple pie. <laughs> Thank you to those of you who commented on my last video with the little snippets. I really appreciate that. Um, It does help me to remain motivated. I think I'll just put this one down here, just randomly there. Press that down a little bit. That will help it to stay and it will hopefully mean that I won't... Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just glue them back down. A couple of the little ones came off. Oh, I'm hot. I'm going to take my jumper off. I always... It's funny, a few minutes into the... Um, into the video I always get a bit hot <laughs> there we go right so that's nice so I'll leave that there I've got another one of these I could put that somewhere here or I might put it somewhere else I've got this beautiful um what's left of the seed pod of a honesty plant so the seed pod would look like this but you know they, these are these are old i've had these for a while so i'm going to put both of them in um and it's nice to see what's underneath you know this bit here because it's so pretty it's so silky and beautiful and um, it's nice to see the difference between I've got so many um, seeds this year because I had a huge plant or two, well actually more than one, I had probably three or four plants in my garden this year and um, so I've got masses of seeds, masses, oh actually I'll do the same, I will add some glue, I think I'll Add a little bit around the edges, maybe. And I don't know if it's going to spoil the look of the... Uh... Oh, no, it's not. Okay, that's good. That is just so beautiful. Okay. Um, put that across there. Like that. Don't 
don't want to mess with it too much because it's um I mean if I you know if I pulled this one apart I would get the same but I want to get the seed pod I don't know if you could hear the seed pods there try and get this one down as well it's not flat so I don't know if it will stick very well but let's see Just hold it there for a minute. It's strong glue, but it does take a few minutes for it to dry. I'm just checking that you can see. This is just a miscellaneous page. Um, that seed will probably come out and that's okay just put a little bit of tape on there oops oh dear some more on here as well because it looks a bit odd there that's better okay yeah I think that's okay um, I have a tiny little rosebud here it is a bit hard mind you it's not going to soften I don't think so I'll leave that um, then I have some of this. Now this is lichen. It's very hard though so I might put it somewhere else um, rather than here. Now in this jar I've got some butterfly wings and I'm just wondering whether to put them somewhere else. So I did a, some drawing. I'm not finished but I started some drawings of butterfly. And, um, there, there we go. Right, now what I have, I was going to colour that in, but I have wings. With the butterfly. Oh, there's two butterflies by the look of things. Oops. The these will be probably you'll have found them in my. Oh, maybe they're the. No, they're probably one butterfly. Okay, just get rid of that. Um. Yeah, I'm going to add two of them and I'll add the other two to a different page I think. I think we'll do that come on Chloe um, So delicate. Not sure what glue to use if I'm honest, but um, Oh, 
I'm in pretty poor condition, but I don't think that matters at all. Um, I will put something over them to protect them. I'm just, I'm, um, yes, as you can see, I'm not finished. I haven't finished the dragonfly and what have you, so a little bit more work to do on them, but it's just perfect. to add in and I'd forgotten that I had them they were in it so I was I think I was saying but probably didn't finish my sentence I'm not finishing sentences lately I'm like I remember when I worked you know as a teacher and I was working in schools and you'd often hear teachers say you know you're you're not um finishing your sentences and <laughs> that's me I'm not finishing them right so I think I've got to protect that somehow but I'll put some of that um, lovely some of this across I'm just going to put it there for now oh there's more than one page there Just protects it, keeps it safe. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I still have the other two. I mean, I could have put them all on, but I'm just wondering, you know, whether to them in here or somewhere or here even that's a different type of butterfly though <sighs> okay i'm just going to put these somewhere safe i'm going to put them back in there <laughs> she said there we go um okay so um I want something else on here so I'm just going to grab my box of leaves and things I've got this I've got another one of those I've got more lichen the trouble with lichen is it once when it dries it oh that bit's not dry hang on hang on a minute there's a bit that's that's dry but it's not it's soft oh, yes see that would be perfect on here I think because of the um I've got these lovely feathers these are pheasant feathers I'll put them on a different page I've also got these little lanterns from um i forget what they're from now oh look at that one purple that one would be nice i could put that there teeny tiny feather there's a like there's a lichen i put the lichen on Such a different colour. You can see the seed. I might take that seed out actually and um, put it next to it. Right, okay, let's do that then. So while I think about the lichen. So I hope you um you know you're you're enjoying seeing the progress in this book. Um I just you know it's I'm really, really enjoying working in it, but I'm also um, 
looking forward to starting a new journal with some really pretty um, pages, book pages and also some um, some lovely digitals as well. I like both. You know, I like to uh, I don't know, I've been watching a few videos lately and um, made me want to do some I don't know, is that odd there? No, it's okay I'm answering myself Quite a big seed that actually Right, I'm trying to decide if that's I'm not sure I like it there guys, so I'm going to take it off I, I think I want it right next to it Maybe There Just looked odd sitting up there on its own See if I can get that off, that glue. It's good that it rubs off. It, I mean, it will probably still leave a mark, but I can write there as well. So I'll let that sit there next to it like that. And then shall I put the lichen on? Or shall I look for something else? Let's have a look at my flowers. These are the old dried flowers. Um, I haven't. I've started using my new ones, but um, just want to use up some of these old ones. This one. Maybe not that. Uh, There's a teeny tiny one there. I like that. I'm trying to figure out what that is. Sorry, guys. I was trying to figure out what it is. Um, but I'm going to put it there anyway because I like the look of it. I might have put a bit too much glue on but I don't mind. Okay, maybe another one. It's nice using these up actually, if I'm honest, because they've been hanging around for quite a long time. Let's see what we have in here. We've got quite a few heads. Flower heads. This is nice, bit of colour. Oops, that's nice. I think I will use. Oh, stuck to the glue. I think I'll use that. There. Very interesting little page. Let's see. Um, whether there's anything else. This is obviously bent and oh, I don't think there's going to be any saving that. Although I could do, put them together like that. 
Why not? It just looks as though they're old. I'm going to put them in. I think this might be um, a primrose, a yellow primrose. It's a shame it's all bent and twisted, but you know, it's okay. It will work as a little specimen. I'll put this one in as well. I'm trying to figure out what this is because the leaf to me looks like it's um, some sort of crane's bill, geranium. Right, I'm happy with those. I think they, they look interesting as a little cluster of uh, things. I think that gets lost, but I could put something else in. Um, oh, look at this. This is also broken. I should have taken more care of that poppy head. That's not very attractive. I think I'll keep that out. Hmm. I want to use something different. I tend to use those a lot. It's a daisy here. It's a double, I think it was a double headed one, was it? It's one of those mutations. Hmm, I might use that somewhere else. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's all sort of is it rose? I think it's a rose. Yes, it is a rose. Look. Wow. A little rose. I'm going to put that in. How lovely that you can still fluff it up as well. So you can, I mean, if I'd looked at the back, I could have identified, if I'd looked at it properly, I could have identified it. But there we go. And I will put a little bit of this tape along the stem. Yep, happy with this page now. I'll just move these out of the way because they're going to get damaged and they're already pretty damaged. Um, pop that in there. Some sort of wool or something in there. Um... I do want to put this somewhere though, so I'll keep this out for now and then maybe I can use it somewhere. I'm just going to move these away for a minute. Oh, and I've got that as well. Oops. Okay. Right, where's the... Now then, because of what I've done here, I, I do think it need, they'd all need protecting. So I'm going to add a page and um, I think I'll add some tissue. So rather than tracing paper, just because I want to keep it nice and light. So I think... I 
I'll add it to the top here. Just see, I really need to sort my desk out. It's just, I just don't have any room left. <laughs> right, I'm going to add this to the top of the cage. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay, so it, it's going to have to be glued on, I think. Yeah, I'll glue it on with this. If I put a nice layer of glue along here, it should stick. Oh, sorry, you, I don't know if you can see everything. That should stick. And then I can cut that off. to fold them in. I might add a little bit extra protection if, the, if this is folded in. If anything tries to fall out then this could add a little bit of extra protection potentially. So if I put that there I'll do that for now and then I might if I need to um, so that will just lift up But we have to do. Don't, I think. It, oh, hang on. Oh no, no, I can't do that. It's ripping everything off. Oops. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there we go. That's okay. <clears throat> this book is not meant to be perfect. It's just. You know, it's just a, um, an experiment. So you can see the little seed heads falling off. By the time it's done, there might not be many left, but I don't mind. I can always go back in and actually glue those on. But I don't want to bore you with that. So um, let me see if there's anything else I want to do. Oh, they are lichen. But I thought I uh, had added lichen on another page. Let me just see. I did um, that. Oh, I could have added some here. Yes, I'm going to add it there. I love this this page. Yeah, I'll add it there. I did. Mm, actually, when I think back now, I, th I think I remember attempting to add it and then it not working out. So let's. This is very soft, um, and normally it's it, when it dries, it dries hard. Yes, I like that there. I've got a 
some silver birch bark here. And where's the opening? Should be there. Oh dear. Yeah. Put some glue there. Don't want that to be glued down. Yeah, I think that fits in really well there. Um, now then, we've got this. So this lifts up. Now this isn't silver birch, so it's sort of a bit, but that neither is that, but I just thought it looked nice there. That looks nice there too, but I mean, there's plenty of other places, you know, I could add it to a page like that, for example. And that. Oh, I might add it here, actually. I wonder if I've got any more ferns. Because it looks a bit odd on its own there but I'm going to I'll see if I've got any more before I add it to there I think I think that's the best thing so I think I mean I could add it there I'm going to leave it because I don't want to so I'll just give you a quick flip through um I since you last saw it I've added some quotes here that I love. Um, I'll read them to you. So everything in nature invites us constantly to be what we are. That's, um, I forget, Gretel, Gretel someone. Um, and that's my um, sort of quote for my pay, my Instagram page. And also my, well, it's my still room. Gretel, her, oh, it's gone from my mind. The earth laughs in flowers. Why haven't I written the authors down of these things? Um, what is the good of your stars and trees, your sunshine and the wind, if they do not enter into our daily lives? Okay, I will find out. I'll, I'll put the, um, you know, the names of the authors um i've added this um tape on the back because i felt that it wasn't secure enough i need to add some inside as well as you can see it's just getting chunky and chunkier and it really isn't being properly supported by this now um so i need to be careful that could easily rip um if i put any pressure on it um, I've got this little pocket that you've seen. I added this that I don't think you've seen. I wanted to preserve these pages because um, I've had them a long time, had the books quite a long time. Uh, let me think, probably 35 years, something like that. Um, they weren't, I didn't have them as a child, obviously, but um, yeah, you know. Um, and I, I took these pages out intending to use them in my journals and what have you and I just love them so I'm going to, I wanted to preserve them. I've seen that. I added this little watercolour um, folder. I think I'm going to put things in there, maybe paper or something in there. Um, you've seen all of that. Think, I don't think I pointed these out. So this is holly berry leaf, not holly berry. Well, holly berry. I, I need to research a bit more into that. I've got two of those in the book somewhere. They look fabulous on there. Um, you saw the little book, that's some extra paper to work on. You've seen these pages, for those of you who haven't. This is, um, these are grasses and there's a lavender stalk in there as well. 
and there's um eco not eco print um jelly print there another jelly print here oh that's coming away i need to put that down a sketch by me so all of the sketches in here are mine um i've got some more feathers i want to put in here down here somewhere of magpie that should be stuck down i've got a, i found that stamp of a magpie as well which i thought was nice i've got a few stamps here and here now this is a little watercolor painting that i did and i'll sketch um of orange hawkweed which i plant i um picked some and then i dyed some cloth with the with the, the flowers um and that was this summer and i it was at the back of my garden against my wall at the back of my garden so uh yeah just a little sketch and then um a little quote here for a time i rest in the grace of the world and i'm free that's wendell berry or wendell berry uh these are mallard duck feathers i've remembered the name of the the duck um i added this you have probably seen me make these and i love them so i decided to add them i'm going to add something more to there I did this, which is a, an eco print that I did a few years ago now, quite a few years ago, 2019, I think, maybe 18. I can't quite remember, but it's recorded somewhere anyway. Um, I did more page, more book page there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I don't think you've seen this. This is another eco die got the word witching I made it for another journal but it fell out and then I found it recently and then there's a, a little sycamore seed there another stamp you've seen that um you've just seen these I'm not finished you haven't seen these um I'll just Have you seen them? Yes, I think you have. In case you haven't. <laughs> yes, you have, because because I remember Dee commenting on the the tea bags, so you have seen them. I don't know if you've seen me do this, but yeah, pretty sure you saw them. Okay tie that um, yeah a little tea bag there and I added a little card with some flowers on I added this this was a, an old watercolor painting that I did it was just um me messing around with watercolors as usual nothing serious and um, I'd ripped it for some reason um into pieces and I think possibly I was using them for something else May, actually i think it was recently it was only in the last year um and then we've got this in there so more of the book pages the vintage book pages i did these um some information about them and their uses in, as a herbal remedy so this is a strawberry tree and this is ivy um, this is a watercolour that I did some time ago and I just wanted to add it in. The California poppies and there's some information about California poppies there. It's a sort of watercolour sketch, pen and ink. And then um, you've seen those. So this is the page I've just done. I added some things to this pocket, this little paper pocket or envelope um, I added these stamps these are real stamps the butterfly all butterfly there's the other holly berry I think that's what it's called so I need to check it out I think you've seen this but I did add a Mary Oliver quote hello sun in my face hello you who made the morning and spread it over the fields watch now 
how I start the day in happiness, in kindness. Mary Oliver. Oops, um, I think you've seen those. I've just popped something on um, some tape on there to stop it from opening. And you've seen this one. The Strantia popular flower in the garden. This is another um, sketch, watercolour, and it's a chicory. And the reason I put it in was because when I was in my uh, down staying with my son for a few days in Oxford, I noticed them everywhere and um, I decided to sketch them. Um, another one of those, look, and also, so that's the other, another part of that watercolour. Somehow it looks better like that. And then an eco dye that I did back in whenever, 2019 or 20, you've seen that. And you've seen this, peony leaf. And you've seen, I think I added that recently. I did the stamp there. I did this. These are eat, insect eaten leaves. And I think they're fascinating to look at. So I decided to do those. Looks like it, they should be like that. Another eco dye. Beautiful eco dye. I'm trying to decide what to do with that because I've got a few of them and I, I'm trying to decide what to do with them. Love this. It's another one of those. You've seen those. Added a stamp here. Um, so I drew this little hedgehog, I don't know if you've seen that, with some information about hedgehogs, badgers, with a badger that I cut out rather than drew, and added information about badger, because that's pages dedicated to those. I did this little watercolour of a mullen, um, and I, I do interesting things, I mean, I, I think it's a beautiful plant, it's great for the lungs, um, you know, in terms, of, in terms of being a herbal remedy for the lungs, for the respiratory system. It also, um, what I do is when the flowers have died back and it's just a long dead stalk, a dried stalk, what I do is I cut it off, I dip the tip of it sort of there, you know, wherever the flower stopped into wax and I dip it over and over and over again and I make a candle out of it and um, they're really pretty. I'll show you them because I do have some left. So I'll show you, or last, year before last, I think I made some more. So I'll show you those. So that's a little pretty watercolour that you can clip out. Um, they should be um, on there. Then um, I showed you those. And you've seen this. And you've seen that. I don't think you've seen these, so we've got this which I found, I don't know where I found it, a book or somewhere, that doesn't look like a book page but I'm not sure, and then I have a, a whole load of seaweeds that I found 2022 down in Dorset, so I added those, that rather, and then Again, this is, um, oh, do you know, I can never remember, but I love that, um, the technique, the sun, sun print technique. Um, this was in a magazine, I left that, and then you've seen this, which is, there's information on how to make um, a spray from... Um, birch and there's some birch um, bark there and you've seen me add this that was just a little print that I did I added that to a page because I wanted to add this and but I didn't like what was on the back of there so I added this so these are tippins I've had to put them in this one and actually yeah. Yeah. Not sure if I've showed you everything. Okay. Um 
So yeah, I added that, this, no, I think I'll do everything. There's, there's another page that I keep missing because, um, there it is, it's there. So this was another eco die, uh, sorry, <laughs> another jelly print that I did. And that's some paper that I can use for writing on. I've added that extra in. So we're back to here. Uh, isn't that beautiful? And, uh, and then I've added this in. So I made this envelope from packaging paper. And there's nothing in here at the moment, but just added a little some bread on there. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything new. You've seen this. I'll add some more of those because the, oh, there's that that's new as well. That's a herb robert that I dried. And then you've seen these little sketches. Need to put something in there. I think that's it. Just another one at the back here. But as you can see, it's pretty full. So I think it's coming to its end in terms of being able to put more things in I don't think I'm going to get much more in but I'm really happy with it and I hope you like it um if you know if I complete it oh I wanted to add this today but maybe I'll do that another day this is just a little it's one of those actual Kodak um I forget what they're called and I just added I made it into a specimen card so pretty Hopefully you can see, yeah, look at that. Isn't that lovely? So I added that in and um, I want to add it in rather. I'm just not sure where yet. Oh, that's pretty because it's got the purple. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. So um, thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.